Howard skates in. Curls to her left, tries to throw the drop pass to Gebhardt. Shot save, made rebound, score! The Colonial strike just a minute over into this contest. And it's one zip, Robert Morris. And I think that goal is going to go to Amber Rennie, I believe. And she was there on the doorstep to pick up the rebound on the shot on Scobie, the first action the freshman has seen in her career. Sydney Scobie out of Minnetrista, Minnesota. And the Colonials are off to an early 1-0 lead. We're fighting for rebounds out in front. A good feed in front of the cage by Howard. Circles back in again, drops it back. Shot to the goal, and it's squeezed between the pads of Lauren Bailey. One zip RMU, first period, 13-32 to go. Yeah, a couple of good opportunities for Vermont. Mackenzie McKeel came in. McNeil came in on a partial breakaway, tried to go high glove and just missed the net over the glove of Bailey. Let's call for the slashing infraction. And well, Vermont though on the attack, out in front, backhander, never able to get to the puck. Here's a shot to save made Bailey's down and the rebound goes in and the Catamounts finally score. Boy, oh boy, five, six chances on that one rush. And the Colonials go back on the attack again. Ready in front of the goal. Here's the backhander by Gepa. She did it herself. She walked along the goal line and just lifted it high to beat Scobie. And it's 2-1 Robert Morris, a power play goal. It took just nine seconds. Oh, and Gebhard continuing her hot hand. She walked it along the goal line and went to the back and on her she plays the power play on her left side. She's not on her off wing. Like Checked away, but Mack is there to take it and get it to Welsh. Welsh winds up and fires in it again. That gets it through. Goes, it. it got through Scobie. It's a goal for Robert Morris. What in the world happened? Scobie looks like she calmly caught it in the glove. The goal light comes on, Bobby. Yeah, it appears that Scobie had that puck, but somehow it must have snuck through her glove and her the left side of her body and into the netting. We, we were shielded from it up here, but the red light went on and then the referee pointed. And it's a goal for Walsh and the Colonials. Wow. And somehow it snuck through. And a save made by Bailey the other way. And Vermont appears to be, they're probably flying. It's a pretty oh, good trip, yes, yeah. yeah. Centered, oh, and somehow Bailey stops it, but the rebound gets in, and Vermont makes it a 3-2 game. They score with 16.53 to go in the third. Yeah, I think that was Bridget Baker on the back door. That puck came across through the goal mouth and on the offside, and Baker one-timed it, and Bailey made, appeared to have made the stop, but somehow that puck just fluttered through, and just really doing a fine job, especially on the the penalty kill, a couple of good penalty kills, and uh, a lot of that had to do with Bailey, and big win here for the Colonials. 